Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to make a simple wallet uh, and more kind of because it's got uh, skiving on it and stuff just to show you some skiving. Uh, I've done most of the skiving on it. Um, the truth be told, I started doing this video yesterday and uh, when I looked up uh, the, the camera turned off again so I'm starting it all over again. So I've already done part of it and that's the reason for it. Okay, the wallet, this is the back of the wallet. This is the inside and what's going to happen here is in here this is where you put your notes um, then this piece here is going to go on which is there for your credit card and hang on yep that piece there that way around again for a credit card and the last piece again a credit card same on this side that way that one and that one yeah and that's roughly how it's going to go up and then we're going to turn all the edges and stuff on it uh, just to give you some measurements i'm going to show you on here let's see if we can do this twofold where are we at? yeah you've got all the measurements here for all the bits that you need right so the back piece let me just show it let me take these off all right so the back piece is and I'm reading this upside down is nine by nine inches by four. Uh, you can see the centimeters on this side here. Then you get this piece here, which is eight and a half by three and three eighths. Then you're going to need two of these: one for this side and one for the other side. And that is four inches by two and a half inches. You need two of them. Next piece: this one here, this one here is four by two inches again two of them last piece that one and that one which is four by one and a half inches okay as i say i've already skived a lot of this which will save time but partly because i was doing the the, the video so let me just show you what i've done on these ones just uh, that one probably shows up a bit better as you can see i've skived around the bottom round there and up the sides so along the bottom up the sides same for this one I sky down there, across there, and up there. I'm leaving the top because we need some body in it. And the exact same for this one. Sky the side, 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 and left that. And the same on these ones there. On this, I haven't touched yet, so we'll come back to this. This is the main body. I'd already started this. I so say I did this video yesterday. Cross the bottom here. In this case, I want it all the way around because I'm going to turn the entire thing all the way around. So uh, I've done these bits. I'm going to just do this one. I can't remember if my knife was sharp or not. So bring this all along here. Have you seen that? Yeah. All the way along. Keep going. And the good news is, because I did this yesterday, you missed yesterday's bad jokes and they were really bad. They were like my best bad jokes. I haven't done a video for ages. Uh, I've just been, I've been so busy. Uh, don't ever retire because you just work so hard. Uh, I'm dealing with a company's production at the moment. Uh, showing them how to do new methods of production, um, which should be better for the staff and things, he says, hopefully. Uh, and I'm doing that for two companies, one in the UK and one abroad. And in between... Uh, I'm doing a lot of lessons, as you all know, I teach. Uh, mainly saddlery I teach because this sort of stuff's my hobby. I can do teach this stuff as well, but uh, most of my courses are saddle courses. Right, so I probably want a wee bit more off that. Just allow it to turn a wee bit better. Do you know this nice, pretty blunt? Let me just sharpen it a wee bit. Let me just sharpen my knife. Now, am I going to do this on camera? There we go. Up it goes. Right, let's try that, see what makes it a bit better. I need to come across. Yeah, take a bit more out of that call. That's better. I'm on camera. One of my things, as you all know, is I keep going off camera all the time. Yeah, much better. So I'll take a wee bit extra along here. Now, the reason for thinning this, this particular one, is because we are going to turn it 
uh, round here and I don't want a big sharp edge on it and things. All the way around this one's going to get turned. This is a big piece of marble I'm doing this on. Uh, I just I actually just bought a load of these the other day. Now I've already done up to the edge on these. All the way along this one. Oh, and it's wintry out there today. It's blown a uh, blown wind more than uh, my wife blows blows when she's had a curry. I can say that because you don't watch my videos. I mean, I wouldn't be brave enough to say it to her face. All right, I think that'll do that one. Oh, yeah, now we one down there just to be sure that'll do it. Okay, right, so that's your main body. This bit then is going to go on top. So much the same thing he's here. I want to skive down there. Uh, and the reason for the skiving, just to show you, is, i just put these three on here, is because I don't want a big bulky wallet, so I want to make it look as if it's thin. So that's the reason I'm skiving a lot of this stuff. So these are all done. I've just got to do this. Now, the important thing here is I'm going to skive down here, skive down here. I don't want to do the top because that's where you're going to put your money and that has to be thick. I'm going to skive along here, but I'm not going to skive about an inch in the middle because when these are on, let me just turn them this way around just so it might show up better on the camera. When these are on, there's going to be a gap in the middle here and I want the body to remain thick here. The rest of it is going to be cut turned, but this will always be open. Right, so let me do the sides. I've already done that one, and this side here could do a wee bit more on it. Whoop. That's that one. Get rid of that. Uh, now the bottom, I've just got to find the middle, which is there. So there's my middle, so I'm just shy of the middle, I want to do one there. That does that. And the same on this side here. But I don't want to do right up to the up to there. I just want to do up to here. Like that. Get off it. I got a busy, busy weekend this weekend. I'm going to drive six hours down to England to get an idea. Before that, uh, my nephew wants me to go and watch soccer, or football as we call it here, uh, for his team, which will be fun because I sure don't support his team. So if the other team scores a goal, I might be the one that's shouting up. So if you hear of uh, somebody getting murdered that's... Uh, Celtic, I think his name. Celtic, I think his name is team is. Yeah, uh, that's probably me shouting on the other team because I don't support his team. Don't support any football team. All right, guys, look, this is going to come on here. Uh, what I got to do now is I got to glue all these edges and stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to go off camera for this because you know you don't want to watch glue dry, and then I'll uh, I'll start to stick it all together for you. So okay, I'm going to put a wee pause on at a moment. Okay guys, I'm back, a bit sooner than I thought. I've only glued these two pieces, so I've glued all the way down there, all the way along there, and all the way here. And the reason I haven't glued the others is because I've just thought of something. I, I've never made this before, this is something I'm totally brand new making. So, like all my stuff I do, I kind of learn as I go along. Anyway, so this is going to come on to this piece here. So I'll throw that to the back, catch the main body. And then I'm going to just stick that on there, and I'll show you what my problem was. So that's just going to go on the edge, all the way down there, down there, stick your thing down. Right. So that's that one. Right, the problem I have, 
I've done a makeshift uh, credit card. So this is my credit card. And the problem I have is, when I put that in there, ooh, he says hopefully, I need really need my plastic. Let me get my card. Right, so my card goes inside here. And the problem is, it'll go all the way to the bottom. So what I need to do is work out a line across here. Just right there. And what I'll do is I'll stitch across there. And the same on this one. So I'll put this one on here. Which is down there. Bang that one there. Stick that down. So I'm going to put a row of stitching across there. Just a couple of stitches is all it needs. Uh, to stop the card coming down, same for this one, a little row of station to stop the, the card falling down. Uh, and I'm going to do that on my little machine, uh, just to show you, I've got a few machines here. This is my new workshop, I don't think I've seen, I've seen inside it, but, uh, right, this, uh, hang on, just turn my camera around so I can see it. Yeah, so I'm going to use it on this machine on this side here, that one right there. Uh, that's my big machine, but that's my little machine. That over there is where uh, my grinder for sharpening my knives and stuff. I mean, you can see all my tools and stuff over there. There's boxes upon boxes of tools down there and saddles I'm working on at the moment. Uh, so let me just turn this down and just mess around with you for a second now. Just give me a second. Right, so I'm going to go and machine that up as I said uh, and then I'll come back and then we're going to glue the rest on. So give me two minutes, guys. Okay guys, uh, what I've done, let me just bring this up to camera a bit, uh, machine stitched along there a wee bit, machine stitched along there a little bit, uh, and then I've glued, whoo, where are you, then I've glued all the way around this edge here, and the same round here and up here, yeah, at the same time, my next bit, which is this bit, I've glued there, glued there, glued there, uh, still a bit wet, but I'm going to put it on anyway, so this comes on to this one, right down to the corner, so finish flush here, flush along there, and then put it in. Uh, and the reason, back to that uh, machine stitching, is it so that um, that can go, hang on, slow that down a bit, that can go in there, and it only goes in so far down like here. So, let's see if I can get my paper one in here. Right, so you can see that's now going to go in down to there, so that's where your card will stick out. Then when it comes to this one, yeah, comes to that one, that's where my next card's going to go, and that can go all the way right down to the bottom, at least to where I stitch, so it'll come down to about here somewhere, yeah, uh, so that's that one on, then I'm going to do this one, bang that on there, nice and simple, finish it there, right, that's that, now, I need to do a bit more glue, and I need to just kind of glue here, and then up here, same for here, yeah, so, let me just get this, and this is a contact adhesive, a rubber solution glue, and the leather is about 1mm thick, 1.2mm thick, um, and it's a chrome tan leather, this one. So I'm just going to glue, I tell you what, a trick if you're going to glue, uh, a really good one, is to put glue on the brush. If you don't have any glue on the brush, for some reason you just can't glue. I don't know if you can hear the wind out there, it really is that, it's blustering out here. Right, so that's that one there. I should really do this on a glue board. I'm just being kind of lazy at the moment. It's hard when you're doing a video to kind of move around the workshop all the time. So again, I'm just going to glue along there, all the way along there. That does that. Right, then you're going to get this piece here, which is the last piece, and that is just going to fit on, make sure you get it the right way up. That just goes on there, nice and easy. I want that edge to look nice. You're going to see this edge, so uh, i just got to make sure this one's trimmed. This one you don't see so much. And the same for this one, that goes on there, make sure you get it the right way up. Now there's loads of things you can do to pretty this up. This is just a nice, simple, easy design. But you could put a stitch line along all every one of these and that look quite cute. Uh, I'm not going to do it for this. This 
Uh, all the stuff I make, incidentally, uh, it kind of ends up in a junk pile and end up goes goes in the bin. Um, because for the videos, you can't really in a video you can't really make it as nice as you can make it when you're not recording. Right, so that's that. Right, so that's it all together. So what I can do at this stage is I can run a wee stitch along here just to hold the pieces together, uh, except for here, obviously. Uh, what I do have to do is I do have to stitch this in a second. But just to show you, that goes in there, then that's going to come on here, and then all these edges are going to turn round onto it. Hopefully they fit. I don't know, I've never made it before, so hopefully it fits. But that's it there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, make this up as I go along. That's what I'm going to do now. Do I want to wee machine stitch up there now? Because I don't want to throw, yeah, I don't want it really through the other side of the wallet, because... Then I won't get my notes in here. So I've got to stitch here, stitch here. While I'm stitching there, I might as well just take a cup. Nah, just I'll just stitch there, stitch there. That'll do it. Uh, don't talk myself out of it. Back in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, back again. What I've done, oops, just to show you. Uh, I've stitched down these bits here. So I've stitched down there, down there, just hold that together. And what I've also done is I've glued... Hang on. So, don't know what happens to the camera. So I've stitched there, stitched there, and then what I've done is I've glued all the way around the entire thing. So I've glued all the way down there, yeah? On the, the main body, I've glued the entire thing all the way right around, yeah? What I haven't done is, if you look here, in the middle here I haven't glued at all, because I actually don't want that to stick down. So I've only glued from there up, and from there up, yeah? Not done the top. Right, so this is gonna go on. I need it a bit from the edge, um, let's put that there, he says hopefully, I don't know if that's enough, as I say, I've never done this before, so just uh, bear with me and get ready to watch me cry when I make all my mistakes. I think about there should be good. And then stick that down. Right, now this is a tricky bit because as you can see here, it's way too short. This is because when the wallet folds, uh, I need to get it in there, if not there'll be a big crease. So I'm just going to bring this across to there, he says, hopefully. Incidentally, it's bitter cold in here. So I'm going to bring that across there like so. Let me just look at my distances. Uh, you can use measuring stuff, incidentally, uh, to measure it, to get your edges right. I, I'm just doing this quickly for a video. Get off it. And the same, ooh, get off. Same all the way down there. I might have to redo this again. Right, is that too big a gap, he says. Right, so I've glued there. Right, so now what I'm gonna, I need to glue these bits as well. Give me two seconds, so I'll do them, I'll do them for right now when we're on. So I've still got to glue down, and I should have my glue board. I need to glue the entire thing down there. Same along there. And bear in mind, I'm not doing that middle bit. This glue's old. It needs to be new. It's like me, old and ancient faulty bits. So I said earlier, I'm going out for a football match uh, with my nephew. Uh, a couple of nephews that is wanting me to go to this football match. This is followed by a lot of drinking which will be really fun, considering, as I say, the following day, I've got a six hour drive all the way down to sunny England. All right. So, we can either leave the camera on and we can all watch this dry, dry or I could tap dance or something. That ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna turn the camera off and then I'm gonna, come, once this is dry, I'll come back on, yeah? Okay, I don't know if this is dry enough, so let's have a go at it. Uh, the first thing though is we've got to mitre the corners uh, because I'm turning a corner. Let me let me just do that. Uh, I should use a cutting board. I shouldn't use this. I'm being very, as I say, lazy. So I'm just going to uh, take that round now and see this corner just here. I'm just going to chop it straight off. Yeah. So as I end up with uh, where are you, camera? Cut that corner off. You'll see why in a minute. And I'm going to do that to all, all the corners. So I'm just going to pop that off. 
pop that one off. Now that one I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll still do it. If it's wrong, you, you know not to do it yourself. So I'm going to take this one off as well. Right, that's the four corners off. Hang on, I'll just show you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you can see a corner off there, corner off in this one, and then a corner off in these two. Okay, let's start turning this. So this just needs to come up against the edge here. So rub it up straight and then drop it over. Make sure it's in nice and tight. I'm going to do this side here, much the same thing. Whoop. I don't know if I'm getting off here. Up it goes and then drop it over. Yeah, just no more I would say. Yeah. Right, now the bottom, you know I haven't glued here, this, this middle bit. Let me just show you. I've glued it right up to there, but I haven't glued that bit in the middle. But it's still got to be turned, so let me just turn this bit up first. In it goes, in it goes, get it in nice and tight. All this glue incidentally will just rub off later, yeah? Uh, same for this one. Is my hand in the way? Let me use this tool just to, the back of my knife, just to get my hand out of the way for you. So that's going to come up here like that, and then just bring it over like that. And now you can see this corner should just go together. Right, so you can see the corner where I, it just went together. Same on this side, that needs closed a bit better on this side. So I'll just bring that in a wee bit. There you go, that's that done. Right, this bit in the middle still needs machined. So I'm just going to just get it up the top there. And I'm just going to fold it over. Because I don't want a rough edge there. So I'm just going to fold that over as well. But I actually don't want it onto the wallet itself. I want it just off the wallet. So I might have to put a wee nick in here just to get that down. Yeah, That's what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a wee nick in it. Let me do the top bit first. So the top bit again is just going to fold straight over. It doesn't come onto this bit at all, yeah? So we keep this out of the way and literally just fold that on top like that, yeah? See what I'm doing? So fold that one over, just to give us a nice edge. We could have done it the same on this, we could have turned this to make it look better. So I just want that turned as well. And get out of the way. My hands are absolutely frozen. Uh, I'm sitting, I'm in the bot shop uh, and no heat on it at all. So that's that corner, there you go. And the same for this one, I'll just turn that over. Am I on camera here, yeah? Now you could probably do it neater than I'm doing it. Right, so, the idea now, you can see why this is all kind of sticking out, but the idea is that this all comes in. So I'm just, I'm probably going to have to put a wee cut. As I say, I ain't done this before. So, I'm making up as I go along. As you see in all my videos. I'm going to put a wee nick in that. I think that's what I need there. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just get this. Do not do this. So just right in that corner there, little tiny nick, in that corner there, right tiny nick, that allows that corner to come up, that allows that to fold inside, he says, hopefully. Just fold that inside. It would help if my hands weren't frozen, I'm telling you. They are bitter. Is that nick in there? That's in there. And give me some glue as well. There you go. That's in. That goes up there. Do you know, I don't like this at all. I need to get more glue in there. That's what it is. There's no glue inside it, but that, that's close enough. Yeah, that'll work. There you go. Okay, so you can see there, it's together, yeah? Uh, the entire thing, it still looks a bit ugh. Uh, ugh is a, t a technical term, incidentally. Uh, it rhymes with ugh. Right, okay, so that's it. We'll get rid of the glue. I've now got to machine the entire thing. That includes along here as well. So let me go and do that, and then our wallet should be nearly finished, guys. Oh, okay, guys. By God, it's chilly out there. One wallet stitched. Uh, the, the whole thing's been... I've still got the glue and stuff to come off it yet, but the entire thing's been stitched all the way around, yeah? And all the way around now. Now, by skiving, yeah, taking it thinner, you can see I don't end up with a big bulky edge. 
I mean, it really is quite meaty in there with all these layers of leather, but the edges look quite nice, yeah? So that's the idea of skiving all the way through. Right, stuff I've still got to do, I've still got to get rid of some of this glue and stuff. So that just kind of rubs off down there. So if I take all that off there, up off there, all the way down there. I ain't going to take it all off in a video, but you get the idea of it. Just give it a wee tidy, get rid of all that stuff. Uh, you can tidy these edges up in there, just get rid of the glue in there and stuff. There you go. Get rid of the glue, so make it look a bit prettier. Right, and you can see this gap. Uh, this We know this piece is shorter than this. Uh, eight and a half inches, nine and a half. And the reason being is just so that the, the two leathers come together. If we'd have made them uh, the same size, this would have ended up all baggy in here. But you can see here, if I just show you here, uh, that gap there, and then when I close it, it fits better. Uh, and just to show you the wallet we just made, uh, this is a poor arm, a fiver, that's all I've got. So that can go in there, and you can see there's room for all your money in there, because you lot have got more money than me, I'm a poor saddler. So that goes in there. Uh, what else can we put in there? We can put in my my ferry tickets can go inside. I don't know if they go in there. They go in there. Again, that's where I normally put them in my own wallet. Oh, incidentally, uh, you can put a little tab in here uh, and then just button it around the back here. I don't like tabs. I mean, I've got it in my own wallet, as you can see here. Oh, uh, and, you know, it's got a tab, but I don't use it. It's never ever turned on. I literally just do that. And I think it's time I had a new wallet. I've this one out. Uh, cards. So credit cards, that goes in there, that's as far in. Remember we put the machine stitch in there, then you can get that one in there, no problem at all. And then that one in there, and likewise for the other side. You put a card in, oh, missed one there, card in there, card in there, card in the top. Yep, that's as far as it goes, and then the thing will close over. Uh, and there you are, a nice little wallet for the back of your pocket, you know, so just stick that in your pocket, and away you go. Uh, and... That's not going in there, that's not going in there, that's going into more than one. Listen guys, uh, you can thank Joe Westwood for this because it reminded me I haven't done a video for ages and ages and ages, just I've been that busy. Uh, so here I am back in the workshop uh, doing this one and hopefully I'll get another one today in a few weeks time. Have a great time guys, bye.